in a happy mood today, Al. What happened to that lady you told us about? Indeed! I am quite happy! I'm happy that I won't be seeing that vile woman ever again, my dear. Oh, I didn't take you for a hump and dump smiles. Angel! It was simply a moment of weakness. And one I hope doesn't occur again. That woman knew too much about me. It'd be best if she never shows her pretty face again. You know, Al, I'm kind of a curious as to what this lady really is like to have you in such a mess, Al. She must have gotten under your skin really bad. Is it because you fucked her? Of course not! She had this obnoxious charm to her that didn't sit well with me. Formication or not. Uh-huh. Sure. Clearly not obnoxious enough to keep me out of her pants. <laughs> One second, please. Welcome to the Happy Hotel. I'm Charlie. How may I help you? Uh, Alistair? There is a lady that looks like you with the... What are you doing here, Allie? I thought we had an understanding of the last encounter we've had. That you stay in your domain in Arizona mine, yes. You're not the only one with radios learning all of hell. And since we're the same entity, what is yours is also mine. Please, would you be so kind as to tell me about this fine little establishment? Of course. Who are you, Miss... Alastra, the radio demon is. A pleasure to meet you, princess. Oh, you're the one Alistair has told us all about. Well, I'm happy you're here. Any friend of his is a friend of ours. Splendid, darling. Oh, I'm watching you. <laughs> oh, watch me harder, dear daddy. By the way, what a charming little welcome that you gave me with that smoke cloud. I didn't know you felt that way, my love. Wow. Your old lady's quite the fox. Good catch, Strawberry Man. A cunning fox that doesn't know her place. After all, there is room in hell for only one radio demon.